obesity drugs had a gigantic breakthrough in the last two years. These so-called GLP-1 receptor agonists have been made popular by celebrities using them. But how do these molecules within the infamous injection contribute to weight loss? And are there any limitations? Before answering these questions, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay updated. According to the World Health Organization, worldwide obesity, defined as a body mass index greater than or equal to 30, has almost tripled since 1975. The problem? Obesity is a major risk factor for many diseases, among them certain cancers, diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. Therefore, researchers around the globe have for a long time been extremely invested to discover medications that could reduce body weight significantly. One of the earliest groundbreaking investigations dates back to 1994, when the Friedman lab working with mice found a molecule that was associated with appetite, the hormone leptin. They could demonstrate that leptin supplementation reduced hunger and body weight of the mice. The chase for the molecules reducing weight had begun. Approximately a decade later, scientists discovered another interesting candidate named GLP-1. Molecules mimicking GLP-1 were approved as therapeutics for type 2 diabetes because of their ability to reduce blood sugar levels. During clinical trials, researchers noticed people were also losing weight upon the treatment of these so-called GLP-1 receptor agonists. In 2014, the first GLP-1 mimic was FDA approved for the indication obesity. Seven years later, in 2021, another GLP-1 drug followed, known as semaglutide. But how do these GLP-1 receptor agonists function? GLP-1 is produced in the intestine upon food intake. This is one of the reasons why we feel full and stop eating. The hormone binds to GLP-1 receptors, which are expressed on various different tissues. In the pancreas, the hormone receptor interaction increases insulin secretion and reduces glucagon release, which is the reason for GLP-1 mimicking molecules being type 2 diabetes therapeutics. In the gut, the interaction reduces the gastrointestinal motility, which slows down gastric emptying. And in the brain, GLP-1 binding to GLP-1 receptors reduces the appetite. Thus, GLP-1 as well as GLP-1 mimics have been shown to enable substantial weight loss. GLP-1 itself only has a short half-life due to enzymatic degradation. Pharmaceutical companies have therefore been working to improve the stability to have a greater and more long-lasting effect. The synthetic GLP-1 imitators, such as semaglutide, were modified to have a resistance to enzymatic degradation, which significantly increases the molecule's half-life and thus also the physiological effects mentioned before. Only one year after semaglutide was approved, a new promising type 2 diabetes therapeutic named terzepatide was FDA approved. This molecule not only activates the GLP-1 receptor, but in addition also targets GIP receptors. Even though it is not entirely solved yet how GIP contributes to weight loss, the weight reduction was even more substantial under terzepatide compared to semaglutide. A lot of other, maybe even more promising obesity drugs are already in the pipeline of many pharmaceutical companies. Current evidence suggests that GLP-1 mimics such as semaglutide need to be taken continuously as clinical trial participants who stopped taking semaglutide regained about two-thirds of the weight they had lost after only one year. Therefore, patients might need to take these drugs over decades to achieve substantial health benefits, which in turn means that the long-term safety of these drugs needs to be tightly monitored. The need for continuous drug administration also creates an affordability problem for patients in countries without universal healthcare coverage. Finally, the increased demand for these medications has also caused supply shortages. Taking all that into account, these weight loss drugs have the potential to transform the treatment of obesity. Without a doubt, the next years will tell. Please check out this video here as well and subscribe to the channel to stay updated. Thanks for watching.